Hi, I'm Cathy Debenham from Ugen. I'm just about to start using Black & Decker's new thermal leak detector to see how draughty my house is. Now to start off, I click this button to take a reference reading and then I'm going to use the device to scan various parts of the house to see which places the air temperature is hotter and which places it's colder. Um, a green light shows when it's within three degrees of the reference reading. It goes red if it's hotter and it will get a blue light if it goes colder. Okay, we're in the kitchen now and I'm going to do another reference reading on this cupboard which is just by the room thermostat. And the room thermostat is set at 19 and the reading has come out at 18.8. So that's good, that seems to be working reasonably well. And so I'm going to move around now um, to a door that goes out into a sort of outhousey bit into the garage. And if I put the light on the crack around the door, you can see that it goes blue, and that's giving a reading of around 15. If I take it down to the bottom where the draft excluder is thoroughly knackered um, and needs replacing goes down to 13 and a bit lower right in the corner um, where the hinge is it's down to 10 so definitely be worth our while getting some of those strips to go up this hinge side where it's 18 I mean sorry it's 13 12 um, and it seems to get better as we go a bit higher up. And now we're onto an outside wall. I can take a reading of the outside wall and that's 17 so the, and it's um, cavity insulated so that's not too bad. And have a look at the window. Now it turns blue on the window. Um, you can see a tinge of blue light there um, and that is giving us a reading of 14 and a half, and that's a double glazed window. And we haven't got curtains at this window because it's above the sink and they probably get a bit kind of grubby. But we do have um, blinds, metal blinds, and rather to my surprise, they seem to be doing a good job of insulating. Um, and we're getting a reading of 19 off them. So um, note to myself, maybe it would be a good idea if I drew them properly every night because they seem to keep the heat in, which I never thought they would. I'm pleased about that. And back on the wall we're at 16 and a half. So, you know, even with the cavity wall insulation, we seem to be getting a bit of heat loss there. And that, right up in the top corner, I don't know where, what's happening there, did they maybe not, did they maybe miss out a bit of um, the insulation when they put that in there, that cold spot, which is giving a reading. So it's a, um, hang on, let's put it back there. So it's, that's down to 15, whereas the rest of it is about 16 and a half. 